and it is all about the bluff oyster today. In my opinion, the best oyster in the world. Massive burst of the sea. Just it's been in the sea two minutes ago. We have the best raw ingredients in the world and I think that these bluff oysters are the perfect example of that. We are on a massive two month trip from the top to the very bottom of Aotearoa, New Zealand finding the best food this country has to offer and today finds us in the ocean off the southern tip of New Zealand on an oyster boat. We are with Fowler's Oysters, these guys are third generation fluff oyster fishermen. Fluff oysters are a delicacy and we are so excited to be able to share this special experience with you. You're going get some oysters. Aotearoa New Zealand has a rich food culture that revolves around the land and the fresh food it provides. In this massive New Zealand series, we're travelling the length of Aotearoa to take you into the heart of New Zealand's cuisine. We'll share how New Zealanders gather and cook from the land, take you into the kitchens of New Zealand's favourite restaurants and uncover the traditional foods of Aotearoa. This episode kicks off at the very bottom of Te Wai Ponamu, the South Island, in a town called Bluff. Bluff is home to the best oyster in the world. Get ready for never before seen exclusive access of the Bluff Oyster's journey from ocean floor to plate. This is going to be a good one. Hit subscribe and get ready for some mouth watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. this day with you. We are out in the middle of the Fobo Strait, two hours from Bluff, which is a tiny town at the bottom of the South Island of New Zealand, and we are on a Bluff oyster boat. So we're out here with Fowler Oysters, who are third generation family business, and it is all about the Bluff oyster today. In my opinion, the best oyster in the world. These things are a delicacy, and we can't wait to share this day with you. These are a dredge style oyster, so not like the more common rock oyster, well maybe the more commonly thought of rock oyster which live on the rocks. These live on the seabed and they're, uh, so they're double sided, so the shell is, you've got the flat side and the round side. Look at the size of that oyster, but um, to shuck them you just split that shell, but they bring them up, it brings up so much other stuff. So. As they dredge the sea bottom, they're bringing up tons of shells, um, starfish, all sorts. So it has to be sorted through and just the prime oysters and the ones that are of legal size brought out. And they're pretty old, like the, when, when they're grown to legal size, they're sort of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. So it's quite a slow growing pattern, but down here, bottom of New Zealand. It's a very cold environment. It's the middle of winter now, so it's cold. The water is ice cold, so you've got these amazing oysters growing in this incredibly pure, crisp, cold water. And I can't tell you how exciting it is to be out here on the boat watching this all happen. This boat is a very neat boat as well. So this is a very small family-run business doing it in a small style. They're able to pick and choose where they fish, keep the fishery healthy. It's amazing being out here with the, the team from Fowlers and learning all about what they do. And my gosh, this is hard work, incredibly hard work. And they do this day in, day out, right through the winter down here in the bluff. give you a look at the practicalities of how this actually works, the, the physical process to bring the oysters onto the boat. So it's quite a short boat, only 42 feet long, so it's a small boat, got a little wheelhouse and now we're out in the main working space. 
and you've got this massive winch, big cable on it, a hydraulic winch which runs up to the top and then right now the dredge is down on the seafloor but it doesn't stay down for long, they only run for a couple of minutes pulling this up and then once that comes up the guys can dump everything that's pulled up onto the table, sort it for what they want which is the oysters, chuck everything else back dredge goes back down and just keeps going run after run until they get the, the amount of catch that they want for the day. So very neat to watch the process in action. And this is a product that we absolutely love. So fluff oysters you can only get from down here, a very small area where they're fished and they are a super delicacy. They're quite expensive so we always have had them really in our lives but every time we do they're such a treat so being out here amongst it unbelievable and seeing how it's all done it's very cool we are very lucky to be out here on a day like this so it's pretty much what you'd call a beautiful calm day on the Fovo Strait. Down here they get some brutal weather. We were talking to the guys and in some seasons, which is a six month season, three months of that, they cannot get on the water because the weather is so bad. Huge swells, massive storms coming in. So we're very lucky to be here on a day like this. But you can see from the way I'm moving around, that's just to keep myself upright. It's not exactly perfectly flat calm, but as far as working conditions for these guys, this is probably about as good as it gets and man it is cool to be out here and watching them doing what they do, getting these oysters on board. So it's all done to a quota and management system so they have to work within their quota and they've actually only got one or two more days of the season to go and they will have filled their quota. So there are different boats all around on the horizon, everyone's working to a quota management system. So it's very, it's heavily controlled, they can only take what they're allowed to take and it all has to be graded, they have to check the size of every shellfish, it has to be a certain size to be, cut, be brought on board and taken to shore. And another very interesting thing that they're not allowed to do is they're not allowed to keep the oysters on board overnight or fish overnight, so they just have to fish in the day. So we came out here at 3.30 in the morning push through the day but these oysters have to go back to land today they can't stay out on the boat overnight so every day fresh oysters weather depending going back to shore now the really good time start because we're getting some oysters shucked but these are the guys we're out with we're here with Ruta, David and Carl so the crew manning this boat so much um, respect for what these guys do. Always knew it was hard, but now we're out here, and this is a good day. We see how crazy hard it is. Oh, and I think it's my time for a crazy big bluff oyster. Oh, 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 oh. thank you. Look at that. That is a massive oyster. Let's get that down. Now you do not want to swallow these, you chew them, you've got to chew these to get the flavour. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh my god! So, massive burst of the sea, just it's been in the sea two minutes ago. And that flavour is unbelievable, so salty. Very pungent, a strong oyster flavor, very sweet, and a lot of body. So, gotta chew them, gotta get that texture in your mouth. And it's a beautiful texture. I always think of a, a heavily stewed apple. It's got that sort of texture on the teeth. So, my God. I've never tasted a bluff oyster with that amount of pungency in the flavor. I, I can almost not explain to you how strong that is in my mouth. Unbelievable and man, that is a breakfast and a half out here watching the sun come up on the Fovo Strait. This is a dream experience and this is not something people get to do. We're incredibly lucky to be out here and we are so, so happy that we get to show you guys what it's like to be out here catching bluff oysters, the best oysters in the world. Far out, that was good. huge New Zealand food series 
We're really wanting to share uh, the story and give you some insight into what makes up New Zealand food culture. And this is it. It is about the raw ingredient. We have the best raw ingredients in the world. And I think that these bluff oysters are the perfect example of that. And it's super special being out with these guys. So the Fowler Oyster team, because they are the last of the small guys. They are a third generation family business and they are the last owner operated bluff oyster fishermen uh, business in New Zealand. And so like the rest of the stories in this series, where there is great food, there are very special people behind that food. And this family is the perfect example of that. We are having the best day out here. We are back on dry land after an incredible day out on the boat harvesting the bluff oysters with fowlers. There is two sides to this business. So we've been out on the boat collecting the oysters, but they also have a shop, Fowler's Oysters Shop, where you can buy the oysters, they do fish and chips. We showed this shop last year in one of our New Zealand videos, which we'll link down below. But today we're showing much more than that. So we're also gonna go into the shucking room where they're opening all the oysters and show you that whole process from catching them out there in the Fovo Strait back here on land, shucking them, and then they come through the shop. So we're gonna be able to eat some more oysters from the shop. So this is a real family business. They do all facets, completely family owned and operated. So all of this is within the family. It's a neat business, a very small business doing very cool things with these world beating best oysters in the world. Let's go check them out, get them shucked. So the oysters have been offloaded from the boat and they've come straight to the factory which is under Fowler Oysters shop to be shucked. So we've got River who was on the boat with us and Denise, they're both opening the oysters. So what they need to do is grab the knife, um, pierce the oyster at the front of the shell, twist so that they can pop open the muscle and then they slice underneath the oyster across the muscle that holds the oyster to the shell and then they come over to this part of the factory to get uh, put into pots. Now bluff oysters are often sold in pots unless you're eating at a restaurant or unless you're eating them upstairs at Fowler's Oysters. These guys are just going for it. They are so quick at what they do. Denise actually is a bit of a local legend. She holds a Guinness World Record for fastest female shaka and she is real, real quick. Thomas and I had a go on the boat shucking the oyster and it was taking us like a minute to get one open and not slice open the belly and damage the oyster. So these guys are amazing. They're doing such an incredible job. So we have ordered half a dozen bluff oysters in the shell and this is the little shop that Fowlers have. So you can buy fish and chips, you can get battered oysters, uh, they've got hot dogs and whatnot. They also sell pots of the bluffies which have been freshly shucked so you can take some away with you. But for us, it's all about these bad boys. So it truly is ocean to plate. Let's head outside and get into one. A plate of raw bluff oysters is my idea of heaven. So you can get them deep fried, battered and deep fried from the shop, but I reckon to truly enjoy the flavor that is a bluff oyster, you have to eat them raw. And this is such a special place to come and eat bluff oysters. It's actually the only place in bluff that you can come to eat a bluff oyster. So the only other place that sells them is the supermarket. So if you're in bluff, you have to get to Fowler's Oysters and get into um, half a dozen or a dozen of these beautiful creatures. So look at that. I'm gonna choose this really plump looking one and just get it in my gob. So I'm not even got, going to go with the lemon, just have it raw and it's uh, oyster juice. Mm. 
for the show. Holy moly. Mmm. So, so good. They coat your mouth, but there's really strong mineral flavor. It tastes so much like the sea. They're salty um, and they have a creamy burst. This is just unreal. What a day. So I reckon that this day has been the perfect example of what New Zealand food culture is all about. The raw ingredient. These wild bluff oysters are just phenomenal. They don't need anything on them to, to shine and to show how incredible the raw ingredients of New Zealand are. And being able to head out onto the boat with those guys, with the Fowlers gang, and to show you the whole process has been phenomenal. We really hope that you have enjoyed this video. It has been such an honor to spend time with Fowler's Oysters. We have had a spectacular day and now it is time to get into the rest of these bluffies. <laughs>